Hey, everybody. Oh, sliding on in here for mailbag. All right. Just a little bit more. It's going to be a real brief one. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's going to be even shorter than that. Let me get the mic working. Um, I know it looks like a couple big things here, but it's all drop ships, so those usually go pretty quick. All right, check, check. How are we on the mic? I expect we're probably pretty okay. Let me check the camera behind me, see if it's got an angle on anything or not. Hi, camera. Oh, it's got an angle to itself. That's not great. That's all right. That's fine. Whatever. It's all okay. Okay, that's about as good as it gets. And like I said, this is going to go pretty quick, considering um, that what we've got today is mostly uh, stuff that's drop shipped. And I'm not going to make any effort to fill up extra time. Um, actually, if I realized in advance that it was, you know, this amount of stuff, I might have tried to push it yesterday anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, but I didn't. I got to figure out a way to get my sleep schedule back on track. Uh, I've been up too late at night because, um, you know, I get in the evenings and uh, I just want to hang out with the kittens, and uh, I blame them. They keep me up uh, too late. And then, oh, and then last night, um, uh, let's see. First off, I don't think there's any news. We're still looking for applicants for our mom cats, and everybody here is doing really well. The medication seems like it's having a great effect, and uh, there's no worries, which is just the way we like it. Uh, I've still got to move them downstairs, and that's about it. So that out of the way, uh, last night Cal got to spend in the... Um, in the spa with me and Loganberry and Teaspoon. And it was, she's so sweet and snuggly and play. She's just the perfect cat. I mean, she really is. And uh, uh, probably people have applied for her and I just, I don't know about it yet. Um, but uh, um, if not, I mean, you guys should definitely, she's just so, I need to find a way to show you guys. But the one problem is that when I'm like laying there in bed and she got like crazy snuggly, like trying to dig into my armpit and rolling around on her back and just being a goofus, um, I really want to show you guys. And I know sometimes I do, but more often than not, I feel a little weird like when I'm filming, even if you don't see me, like you know I'm lying in bed when I'm doing it and that seems strange, doesn't it? I don't know. It always just it still feels a little weird to me, um, but I might have to get over if it if it means being able to show off her personality to the point of helping her get adopted because it's just perfect. And um, this one is also pretty perfect. She loves going out. I think she's pretty much done in here. Like she would rather be out of the room almost all the time than in here with her kittens. But uh, she still takes good care of them. It's not like she's mad at them. Um, and she gets along fine with everybody out there, except when I say she gets along fine, she still isn't friends with any of them. Uh, if any of them come up and come to try to get too close to her, she'll hiss, but it's that kind of hiss that's just like back off. You know, I don't know you and, uh, I don't know when she's going to get over it. I feel like a lot of mom cats would be over it by now, but I haven't actually seen her being like close up friendly with anybody except her own kittens that I can think of. Um, not even Loganberry. Maybe maybe it has happened and I forget, uh, but um, that's a, that's a little surprising to me. She'd be fine with another cat, though. I'm sure that she will get along in time. She's not like the kind of that's angry or anything. And other than that, she's just fun. She follows me around just constantly, just like she can't be away from me when she's out there. And uh, that's real sweet, too. Always wants to be part of whatever I'm doing. And she's got the cutest way of begging to be petted or paid attention to. I'm sure you guys have seen it. She did it last night, I'm pretty sure, on camera, too. I don't know if anybody caught it. When I was sort of squatting and trying to do a close-up that didn't take, uh, my fault. Um, I'm sitting there acting like I'm recording cats and nothing is happening on the stream. But I think you could still see me. 
and she stands like up and she goes, she reaches, like she reaches up and goes like, she just waves in the air. Like she doesn't touch me. Like she's not trying to grab me or anything. She just wants to, she just puts her arm up and like, like begs. It's so cute. Yes, I'm talking about you. Uh, all right. Well, so that's it. That's about all the ramble I can manage. Um, there's just not that much else. I see I forgot to bring the, the uh, box opening box up here. I do have a pocket knife all the time, so I'm just going to use that today rather than get up and make things take longer. So this looks like it's from Bob and Ruth. Um, I'm just guessing because there's only one name here, um, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's Bob and Ruth. And it was drop shipped, so I'm guessing there's not going to be a note inside to tell me so, but let's find out. I love this wrapping paper. The little, all of it is really like nostalgia um, inducing. Um, the, that heart shape, the, the pixelated heart for some reason, just uh, is immediately like takes me back. But all of it's very cool. Um, so, wow, what is going on in here? I think it got. Okay, that didn't work. I think the packing material got sealed into the bottom of this package, and I don't want to just make a huge mess of this, but I'm going to because I can't get it out. Ooh, that's some cool colors. What is this? Hang on. Oh, there is a note somehow. It says, Mr. A. Hello, Mr. A. In honor of KA's newest faculty member and bravest kitten, this shirt was made for you to wear to KA Con. To celebrate Professor Teaspoon's ability to learn how to tablespoon. We hope you like it. Yes, from Bob and Ruth. Oh, look at those. Look at those cute little kitties. Wow. Uh, I, for some reason, I thought this was drop shipped. I guess they just found this cutest thing to send it to me in. How about that? This is beautiful. Oh, and of course, I know what this is. Uh, this is, um, I, we've got some other uh, Hawaiian shirts that have uh, got our cats on them, but obviously not one with teaspoon. And the other ones aren't quite this color either. They don't have the creamy white background. They've got like a blue background. I really like this. It's beautiful. And yes, we got a little teaspoon all over the shirt. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing you and everyone at KAcon. Um, I have some wardrobe options kind of picked out for KAcon, but I will find a way to make sure this gets modeled. Um, even if I have to force DJ to wear it, but I, I think I'll be able to wear it as well. It's not like I have to wear just one thing the whole day. I can be like, um, uh, you know, like one of those brides that has three different dresses for her wedding. It's just exactly like that. Um, yeah, that was a weird analogy to choose. I don't know why that was what I went with. All right, that's fine. This is really pretty. Thank you so much, Bob and Ruth. I love it all. Uh, even the packaging is great, and uh, thank you just so much. This is, this is, uh, it's so cute. Little Teaspoon is a charmer. I'm glad he's doing so well. I should weigh him for you guys because he's small. I mean, you've seen him. You know he's small for a cat. He's probably always going to be small. He looks like a kitten, like a three-month-old kitten forever. But he's dense. He's so heavy. Like, he's he's so heavy. It's like picking up a, like a lump of iron or something. Um, uh, and I think that's because his heart condition makes him retain fluids, you know. So he's, uh, he's a lot, got a lot of extra fluids going on in there. But uh, whatever the reason, he's surprisingly heavy for his size. Um, I should find a way to, to illustrate that for you guys. It's uh, something. Or if, you, you know, if you're at KAcon, um, and uh, I think uh, Teaspoon's not obviously going to go to KAcon, but I think that... Um, the planning committee has some like giveaways for a visit here, and then you can pick him up yourself if that's if uh, if you manage to get that. I think it's part of the raffle prizes, which is very exciting. Okay, uh, this is from a name I recognize, even though it has not got the uh, branding I would expect on the outside. So that's unusual. Let's see what that's all about. I would expect to see a little drawing of a kitty on here. Um, but now I have to adds up on the inside. So let's see. It says Mr. A and Dr. DJ and oh man, that catnip smell is coming out of there. Ah, oh, so cute. And it says, "Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. All these wings for the skyscrapers and cuddles snugglers are from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Critter. Isn't she amazing? I certainly think so. Take care." From Catherine the Dragon Maker and Toffee and Mamey. Ah, uh, thank you so much. This is obviously then 
um, from uh, uh, Aunt Susie. Uh, wait, that's what I said, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Why is, why is my brain saying that's weird? Yeah, no, Aunt Susie. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, um, thank you very, very much. These are so wonderful. So Dragon Maker makes these dragon wings. You've, so you guys have heard me talk about these a million times. Uh, they're wonderful. They're just, she's uh, very well put together and uh, in a million different varieties and colors. And then they're stuffed with catnip and it's the strong stuff. It's really good. You can see even the little kids are coming over to check it out. So these make great little gifts for them. And the, the shape of them is, you know, they're just like these flat things. But that really appeals to cats. They love these things. They'll, they'll like roll around on them like they're little tiny uh, pillows or throw them around or wrestle with them. It's, it's actually a good shape. It's sort of like the flat mouse idea, I think. You can smell that too, can't you? But he looks so contemplative. He's like, what is this I'm smelling? Oh, you know what's cool? Since other people are uploading the mailbag now, I didn't even think of this. It, there's no reason I can't take little close-up videos during mailbag. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Were you smelling this? Here, let me make it easier for you. What does that smell like, huh? Oh, that's the good stuff. Now, here is a real advantage to uh, all the wonderful work that the volunteers have done with uh, uploading videos lately. Got to keep that in mind that we can do that now. Uh, okay. Next up. This one is addressed to Mr. A Kitten Academy. Mr. A Kitten Academy. All right. Oh. And there's a note. I can see a note right on top. Ooh. Uh, I fostered 34 cats this year because of you. Wow. Good job. My, from my current foster mom, Cat Ocean, and her, excuse me, uh, and her kitten Sailor, Catalina, Skipper, Mariner, and Compass. Those are great names for an ocean mom cat. Oh, very good. Uh, to the Kitten Academy kittens, use as you see fit. Oh, thank you so much. It's from Christy underscore K1052. Christy K, um, thank you so much. And wow, thank you even more for fostering kittens. I think that's such a wonderful thing to do. And uh, I really do. I encourage everybody to do it. I know the whole reason I do this is to get our kittens adopted. So I feel a little strange whenever I say something that... Um, um, I wouldn't say works against it, but is, is kind of like not exactly in that vein. My point being, um, I, I like to tell people that if they want to adopt a cat or a kitten from their local shelter, sometimes the best way to do it is to foster. And then you get to sort of try them out and, and learn. I think a lot of people don't realize what different personalities different cats can have. And uh, also, I think a lot of people don't realize that when you start fostering, people are very likely to end up adopting a cat and, and foster failing, uh, which is, just means, you know, you, you foster a cat and then you can't let it go, so you end up adopting it yourself. They call it foster failing. It's not a fail in any sense. That's just a funny thing to say. Um, but um, I, I actually recommend that, you know, a lot of times to people saying, if you can, go to your shelter, offer to help out, be a foster, and then you get a chance to see um, not only what the different kittens and cats are like, you get a chance to help out, and w when you find the cat that really, you know, meshes with you perfectly, then you just adopt it. You know what's up. I think it's a, a really wonderful thing to do. I understand that's not what you're doing if you've done 34 cats in the last year, Christy K. Uh, but I was just thinking... Uh, of that. So, okay. Uh, wonderful work, by the way. That's just, it's just fantastic. So first off, we have, oh, a, ra a unicorn. I said rainbow for some reason. It's got a rainbow tail. Um, um, or maybe that's a, well, it, for some reason, the tail's up on, in the picture. There's like a mane. I see. It's got a rainbow mane. There it is. I see. It's also got a mane and a tail and a unicorn horn, and it's got four legs, and it's got like a snout because the tunnel goes right to the front. So it is a tunnel, a, a unicorn tunnel. And I know we've seen one like this in the past. It went home with somebody, but it's really cute. And I think the kittens are going to love it. Uh, Christy K, thank you so very much. There's also something else in here. A box in a box in the traditional Amazon style. And all it says on the outside is color beige. So let's see what beige item we might have in here. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's some kind of a scratcher for kittens. Let's see if there's something uh, more about it that we can describe. Oh. oh, hey, very cool. So you guys know the wooden ball track that we've got in the spa, in the bedroom. You've seen it. Probably the kittens were in there playing with it last night on stream. So I, I know you've seen it. Uh, this is one of those that is integrated with a short scratcher. And uh, the, that's very cool. It's got a beautiful wooden base. This is going to look so good. Uh, oh, and the, it's got the bottom track is this big, long, oblong track. And the top track, it's got two tracks. The top one is round and the bottom one is oblong. Oh, it's really beautiful. I think DJ's going to want this in the bedroom to uh, maybe even um, take the place of the other one because it's just so pretty. Wow. Uh, I'm, there's only like three pieces. I'm tempted to put it together now, but... Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, Christy, hey, that's so nice. It's very generous of you, and I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Not only that, but someone who's so busy doing their own foster work to take some time out and help us out, too. is uh, that's, that's wonderful that you've got that kind of bandwidth uh, to, to, to just so giving and, and wonderful. I, what else can I say? Thank you very, very much for those. These are going to be a lot of fun for our kittens. I want to get them moved downstairs soon. Uh, and uh, I think that this could be some fun stuff to celebrate that move. We'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, soon doesn't mean today, but soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, means this week. Uh, it's time. i got to figure out what to do with Cal, uh, but we can figure it out. Like, there's, there's enough spaces to do. I mean, even if it means we move Cal into the second annex or the first annex for a while. She, she could deal with that. She really does miss having people around, though. Like, that's, that's the number one thing that she wants is to have some folks. Uh, Cuddles, not so much. I think Cuddles actually misses DJ, though. And I think, uh, maybe I'm projecting, but I get the impression every time I go in and she sees me that she's disappointed it's not DJ. <laughs> uh, I'm sure DJ will be able to make up for that soon enough. Oh, oh, I know exactly. I don't even need to tell. Uh, we know exactly what this is. It says, here, do you know exactly what this is and who it's from? I think you do. Wow. Uh, speaking of generosity, uh, it says, Mr. A, here are bowls for Cuddles, Skylight, and their kittens from Clint in NH slash Caring Paws Rescue. Clint, yes, um, I was told since I think the last time you sent these bowls, which, by the way, you have sent, that's, again, this is another, like a Christy K story here. Um, since the last time that you sent uh, bowls, someone told me that the Caring Paws Rescue that you mentioned in your last time is you. You started a rescue. Um, that's just wonderful. I mean, just fantastic. And here you are still sending us bowls for every class that we have. That it means a lot, and uh, again, I'm so impressed by people that have that level of um, I'm going to say bandwidth again because I don't know what word to use, but just just that that ability to be so busy. I know how busy you must be doing caring paws rescue, uh, Clint in NH. By the way, if you're going to try to look it up. Um, I, I know how busy you must be. I mean, I, I, rescue uh, is even more than fostering is a, is a big thing to be involved in. And uh, still to have time and thoughtfulness to, to send us uh, stuff for our kittens is touching. It's heartwarming. It really is. Um, you know, uh, DJ and I have, have literally lamented how bad we are at doing that for other people. You know, even the people that we really appreciate in our lives. Um, well, and my excuse is, you know, we've, we've been, uh, we're going into our 10th year of medical training for DJ. And that's extremely time consuming and mostly kind of stressful. I can't say it's entirely stressful. You know, there's, there's good times and bad times, but, uh, but 10 years of anything that is so, um, uh, just, uh, I'm, lo I'm losing my words. <laughs> it's uh, something that's just so much like she's got to put so much effort into it every day, the studying and the learning and the, and then the just plain work, um, you know, for 10 years of that is, it's a lot. And, uh, 
I'm glad that there's, there's, we're finally almost at the end. It's the last year of it, uh, 10 years later. So, wow, uh, what a long slog it's been. And that's my excuse for, um, uh, for lots of things. That's, it's just an excuse, really, but that's, that's the one I'm going with <laughs> So today. That's the one I'm going with today. All right, finally, we have two giant boxes that I'm guessing are probably two of the same thing, whatever that thing may be. And um, I don't know if there's going to be a note in here. I doubt it, but I do know who it's from. It is from Pound Cake. Uh, that's Pound Cake on our uh, uh, Discord server. And it's spelled like old timey Pound Cake uh, with uh, an E in Pound and then C A Y K E. Uh, C-A-Y-K-E, so pound, ye old poundy cake. Um, I know I've said that before too. This one, oh wow, that is a giant bed. It's huge, but what is it? It's something. It looks to me like a little devil. Uh, I think it's just a, a red, oh, it's a red panda. It's a squishmallow bed. So this is like the pineapple bed that we have. Is there one in here? No, I just put them away after I washed them. Um, so this is the same as the pineapple bed that we have, um, two of right now, uh, that is the Squishmallow brand, and it is very like this squishy material that they use to make the little stuffed animals that they usually sell. And this is a, such an adorable, cute little red panda. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's what they call those, right? Even though they're not, they're not related to like panda bears, are they? I don't think. Uh, not directly anyway. Maybe. I don't know anything about them, but I should find out. <laughs> um, it's really cute. Oh my goodness. I bet the label says something about what it is. Let's see. It says, because they have characters, right? CC, uh, CC loves commercials. Oh my goodness. She can recite almost any jingle at the drop of a hat. Well, that's interesting. Um, it does not say anywhere what CC is, but that's all right. I mean, we've all got our interests. I guess, you know, it's funny because I say how much I absolutely hate commercials, but at the same time, my favorite part of reading old newspapers, or not old newspapers, just any newspapers, uh, new or old, are the ads. I think that is the most entertaining part because it tells you so much about people and sort of what they value. And also, uh, they tend to be kind of entertaining in a way, especially when you can separate yourself from whatever it is they're trying to market. So I get it, Cece, uh, you and me. Let's see if the other one is the same or not. This is so cool. Um, wow, it's so big too. Look at it, it's gigantic. Like this could be a bed for um, uh, a red panda, I bet. I don't know, how big are they? I don't have any idea. It's got a cute little tail too. I don't know if you saw like a little stripy red tail. It's such a beautiful color, just all by itself. That's a, it's a lovely sort of, um, I would say uh, persimmon red. Wow, oh, persimmon, that's the name of that fruit, right? It's actually a little darker than that, but I feel proud of myself for coming up with the word. Um, this has got to go with me. So I'm not going to put that in the other box. If I put it in the endowment box, it will just go with that, and we don't want that. Okay, so let's check this one and see if we've got two red pandas, or if we have a red panda and something, something. We'll just take a peek here. What do you think? Oh, it's so big. It's much bigger than the um, than the pineapple one that we have that is also a Squishmallow brand. Oh, I don't know, because they put tissue paper. Oh, no, it's different. It's definitely different. Wow, these colors are going to go great together, though. It's like a, It's like a pair. And this is some sort of a dragon thing. At first I thought it was a unicorn because I saw a silvery horn. But unicorns are pretty much defined by the fact they only have one of those. This guy's got two and he's got a little bit of a, like a dinosaur ridge on the back here and a little tiny cute, this is exactly like a tail on a turtle. Like a little reptile tail, turtle tail, easy for me to say. Uh, what is he? Oh, no, I know what this is. This is like a, a how do you pronounce that animal? The A-X-O, an ax, axolotl is what I would say, right? Is that what it is? Let's find out if we even know. We probably don't know. But that's what it reminds me of now. Do they have a little horn thing, though? I don't know if they do. Maybe I'm just making it up. Maybe it is a dragon, actually, with these funny little wings and two horns. But then what's this? 
just a just like a bit of the ridge that's on the top of its head. It looks a little silly, if I'm honest. Um, that's that's got to be what it is, though. These have got to be like these little tiny dragon wings. I don't know why I made it wanted to make it into a uh, different kind of animal. I don't know. You decide. It can be whatever you want. But look at how cool this blue and this red are together. Like they're just uh, that's that's. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but that's really nice. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, I mentioned who the other character was, so why not check this one out? Tatiana. Okay. Loves dancing, baking, and exploring with friends. Hmm. All right. Well, you've got a friend. Uh, maybe they'll go exploring together and watch some commercials. <laughs> I don't know. These are giant beds. We could fit the entire family in this bed, and wouldn't that be a cute scene, too? Um, I don't know if these guys are done pooping in everything yet. I know they're still dragging a fair amount out of the litter box on accident. That's not their fault. Uh, but I haven't seen them mess up the tunnels yet since I last cleaned them. It's so cute when Sky is getting playful. I don't, I don't know if she's on camera, but she's definitely playing with these kids. I guess she probably has been while I've been talking, too. Vaguely aware of that. Okay. Well, uh, Pound Cake, these beds are huge and spectacular and really cute. And I guess that is a, a, like a little dragon horn uh, in between the horns, a, drag, a ridge. Of, what do you call that? The ridge of spikes, spines on a, some reptiles like dragons or um, I think mostly dinosaurs, really. I can't think of any modern, like reptile that I, off the top of my head that really has that can I? I like I picture an alligator in a way that got like two uh, but not the one that goes down the center right hmm interesting okay I since this box is ruined for the red panda I'm just going to put him on top of this box which is nice and then keep these two together for now and if you wanted me to do something specific with these guys, you, you know how to get in touch with me. We were just talking before Mailbag about how uh, you were two-thirds of Mailbag by volume, I said. Actually, I think you might be more than that if somebody wanted to do the math on it. Uh, but not me. You know I'm not good at fractions. I can only do like two-sevenths before I'm lost. Um, so... I'm going to clean all this stuff up. I hope Mailbag was good for you the way it was good for me. This is uh, it was a lot of fun and a lot of stuff, and it was just the right length, in my opinion. So, fantastic. I am definitely looking forward to KACon. I told you guys I have a big surprise for you. I'll just tell you it is something that I am, like, my outfit is the surprise, I guess. And uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm excited about the whole thing, of course, not just that, but I'm glad that, you know, every year I feel like I should do something and I don't um, because it's not my party in any sense, uh, but uh, I'm glad that this, this year I'm, I'm bringing a little something and uh, I hope it's fun. You guys seem extra, extra playful. Are you ready for another tissue pit? I bet they're big enough for it. Okay, well, let's get this cleaned up. I'm going to turn off this mic now before I forget. Okay, well, let me start getting this stuff out of here. 
Thanks again, everybody. It was, it's wonder. This is stuff. I can't wait to get all this stuff out for the kittens. I just gotta, we gotta make sure their poops are good, and then maybe I gotta get them moved. I gotta do so much cleaning. Oh my goodness. I gotta get to it. It's time. It's time, kids. You're ready for new things. Okay, I see that. I don't know exactly how ready for new things they are. These some of these kids are kind of scaredy kittens when it comes to new things. And it seems like, um, I hate to sort of stereotype, but it seems like Cuddle's kids are a little more that way than Sky's kids are, uh, despite the fact that most have been raised together. But last night, um, I brought them, you know, I've been giving them access to the bedroom and bringing them in the bedroom for uh, a while now. And they just, they don't go for it the way that I would expect. But last night I used some baby food to really give them a reward and that, that seemed like it was starting to get through to them. Plus, uh, last night, Gabe finally came around on the baby food and decided it's good after all, even though it was once used as a device of his torture. Um, he actually kind of likes it. So he started eating the baby food too and wanting it and that's great. That makes him that much easier to bribe, doesn't it? Where is he, by the way? I see everybody else right now except him. Is he in there with his sister that I just saw go in? Are there two kittens in here? Oh, that was, she's not in here. Where'd she go? Now I've lost it completely. Oh, she went under the flap. That's where. I saw her go this way. But where is he? Did he run out? No, he can't. He could have. I guess he could have run out earlier when I wasn't checking or being one of those boxes I just took out. We'll find him. Don't worry. He loves to run out because he knows where the bedroom is. And the, for, he's the one kitten in this group that's like the bedroom is his place, I guess, because he spent extra time there. Uh, Alcove actually uh, kind of tends to run down there too, but then doesn't stay. But maybe, if we're lucky, uh, last night and maybe one more repetition will get them all to want to run out there every chance they get. <laughs> Speaking of every chance they get, uh, Gabe ran into the chicken closet last night and I saw him go in and I'm like, oh, well, he can have a little chicken. What's it going to hurt? Well, the answer is he went nuts for it and was like growling and smacking teaspoon to get away from his chicken. And then I put him out and he, uh, that's all he wanted the rest of the night was to get back in that closet. He was following me around the room and meowing at me and uh, like trying to shove himself under the door. <laughs> it was cute. It was very cute. All right, now I want to know where he is, though. Let's just do a quick kitten count before I decide that I can start moving this stuff into the basement. Okay, you are clearly um, the boy, uh, 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 Cashmere, in your pajamas, and Marsh, and Al, and the, the tiny floof. So that leaves hot chocolate, Gabe, three, four, five, uh, there's one more I'm missing. Hot chocolate, Gabe, and right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hot chocolate, Gabe. No, I guess that's it. There she is. Okay. Okay. So, let's check. They must be next door with their mom.
Thank <laughs> you. 